Oh my gosh! Help! Let's see with physics if Superman actually saved the boy. No, Superman wouldn't have caught the boy. The boy would have died. I'm a physicist. Let me show you why. This was filmed at Niagara Falls and the time from when the boy first let go of the banner to Superman caught him was 17.69 seconds. So let's say we use our SUVATS, which is an equation in physics, S equals UT plus a half of AT squared. What our U stands for is our initial speed. So because he initially has zero speed, that's why zero times by T just becomes zero. So now S is the height he falls for, which is our 51 meters. It's going to equal one half of A. A is our acceleration due to gravity, which on Earth is 9.81 times by T squared. If we do this math to find out what time it would have took him to drop that whole distance and hit the water, the time will come out at 3.22 seconds. This is roughly six times faster than what Superman can reach him. So Superman never could have caught him in time. But this is ignoring our air resistance. If we included air resistance, roughly the time gets doubled. So roughly the time from here to here would take six seconds. But Superman only caught him in 17.69 seconds, so no, he didn't actually catch him at all. Follow me for more physics content like this.